Hello all, today in this video we are going to make a demo of advanced adverse drug effects detect, uh, detection with a vision learning algorithm already with the same data set we have worked with the different algorithms like logistic regression support vector mission etc. In this code we are going to make a work with CAD boost classifier and also then we have to we are making some comparison with all three classifiers and just making that which classifier is providing better result so for that initially we are loading our data set uh, this data set we downloaded from cap, uh, happy faces it is in some other format we just converted it into csv file so this uh, the this is the data set uh, just having different features or attributes like unnamed text and label this from this data set the text we will be using for the x variable and the label we will be using for the y variable uh, since text it is containing uh, some strings we have to convert it into vectors for that we will be using using count vectorizer to convert it into vectors uh, so then we are getting the info of the data set which is the type whether it is object or integer in the second cell then we are getting whether it is having any uh, null, int, uh, null values and we are also getting the shape and uh, all the uh, zero and one columns how many number of counters having within the label we are just differentiating it as zero and then one then we are just uh, splitting our data set by determining the x variable and the y variable as i said we, uh, before we are determining the x variable and y variable then by using this x variable and y variable we are determining x train x test y train and y test variable with the test size as 0.2 that is 20 percent will be used for testing and remaining 80 percent will be used for training then as i said since our x variable is having some uh, uh, vectors we have to convert it in a uh, text we have to convert it into vectors for that we are just making the use of count vectorizer and by using it we are just converting our x train and x test data x test we will be the, uh, converting it uh, we in this model here you can notice then uh, we are making first we have worked with the logistic regression and we have uh, uh, made an confusion matrix plot and also we have we displayed the classification report of this logistic regression by this we have got an accuracy of 86 percent then we have worked with the support vector vision for this also we got an confusion matrix uh, displayed the confusion matrix and got an accuracy of uh, 88 percent by you uh, Use of the classification report in this work we are going to see the cat boost classifier so as i said previously for every classifier uh, the only difference it will be the uh, library so first we have importing the library and then calling our library within a variable this variable we will be using for training and testing for training we will be using the fit function and the training variables for testing we will be using the the predict function and the test variables here we are uh, converting our test variable by using the count vectorizer cat boost it will make a learning rate it will set a learning rate and it will make a, uh, it run for different iteration that at the end only it will show the result so by this cat boost we are determining the confusion matrix and then we are determining the confusing ma matrix for test variable only so only we are getting less number of values uh, if you have um want to take both for train means you, you have to just give us y train then we have determined the classification report for this uh, uh, cat boost classifier we got an accuracy of 86 percent then we are making a comparison with all the three models we have uh, implemented so far like logistic regression support vector mission and cat boost uh, to make this models within a single variable we are making a loop within the loop we are calling this models and and making it to uh, test uh, train and uh, determining the values of accuracy mean square error and r2 square error and also we are printing the training accuracy and testing accuracy of every model 
than the single cell. Here the training accuracy and testing accuracy of every models are displayed within the single cell. Then we are making a table comparison. Within the table we are making some highlighter. The highlighter what it will do means so the model with the least accuracy will be shown with the uh, red color and the model with the highest accuracy will shown with the green color. So this particular with this particular data set with cat boost we are cat boost is the mostly cat boost will provide better results only but it is based on the data set with this data set it is providing some less results only only the support vector mission is providing some uh, high results within middle logistic regression is there so this is the comparison the machine learning algorithms we have done so far with the, in the other uh, uh, next video we will be making an comparison of the another machine learning algorithm with the same data set thank you